Ancient Uparts are undoubtedly one of the most interesting subjects in regard to lost antiquities. Many of these artifacts, due to the locations in which they are found within, or the immense age displayed within the erosion seen upon the object, makes them one of the most controversial areas of study. How can one answer the question of how an iron pot is found within a solid lump of coal within a seam over 300 million years in age? Or how the clear imprint of a chariot wheel is found fossilized deep within a mine in Russia. These artifacts, found at hundreds of feet deep in sediment, or displaying a wooden handle petrified into coal, display an undeniably immense age, and as such, are solid pieces of evidence to support our posit of there having been a series of now lost civilizations stretching far into the past. Nature is infamous in being cyclical. Why then would we not be permitted by mainstream academia to presume this be the case for the climates of the Earth as well? Regardless of this digression, however, the subject of tonight's video is an incredible artifact which we believe to be that of an ancient upart. However, due to its incredible characteristic, is being masqueraded as that of a much later creation by a far more recent ancestor. Known as the Sword of Gujan, this intriguing artifact has somehow resisted the effects of time, and although it is enormously old, is seemingly as sharp and as shiny today as the day it was made. This remarkable characteristic, although unexplained, is not the only interesting thing about the sword. It also features an incredibly old form of writing. Eight characters are written in an ancient script now known as bird worm seal script, literally birds and worms characters. Owing to the intricate decorations of the defining strokes, it is very old and is attested to be a variant of seal script. In 1965, while an archaeological survey was being performed along the second main aqueduct of the Zhang River Reservoir in Jingzhou, Ubei, the series of ancient tombs were discovered. A dig started in the middle of October 1965, ending in January 1966, eventually revealing more than 50 ancient tombs. More than 2,000 artifacts were recovered from the sites, including the sword, having been found inside a casket together with a human skeleton. The casket was discovered in the December of 1965 at the Wangshan site No. 1, 7 kilometers from the ruins of Ying currently called Jinishang, once the ancient capital of Chu. The sword was found sheathed in a wooden scabbard, finished in black lacquer. The scabbard had an almost airtight fit with the sword body. Unsheathing the sword revealed an untarnished blade, despite the tomb being soaked in underground water for over 2,000 years. How did this sword retain its incredible condition? Why does it seem as if it is resistant to aging? What sort of metallurgy did the swordsmith once use to create such an amazing object? It is clearly an ancient upart, and one we postulate has an origin now hidden within the bowels of history. It is a remarkable thing, and as such, is highly compelling. In our previous video, we presented a hypothesis, a theory believed by many, one of a now lost or possibly hidden race of ancient giants. Surprisingly, however, recently, although China is seen as an infamously secretive country with many tombs and ancient pyramids of gargantuan proportions rarely aerial photographed, let alone explored, it seems that they have, at last, stolen the archaeological world stage with the announcement of a discovery which we may relish, but those whom these remains rest just beyond the clutches of we would presume rather get a hold of themselves to study and then store away in hidden archives, far from public view, an ongoing effort we have personally read of, dating back to the early 1900s. An ancient graveyard, complete with over 500 giant human remains, has not only been accidentally discovered, but publicly exhumed and most crucial of all, photographed for all the world to see within China. Could this be a retaliatory move with other motives at play? If our previously mentioned theory is true, 
it would enable man to explain the inexplicably, seemingly impossible size of many of the world's megaliths, and indeed still standing megalithic structures of the world. How a pyramidal, treasury, and many other ancient architectures, lintels, and top stones, often weighing many hundreds of tons, were not only transported from quarries many hundreds of miles, but placed aloft many meters with seeming ease. Furthermore, we have in the past not only postulated and have also presented reams of witness testimony and photographic cooperation, still to be found in newspaper archives across the Western world, describing these finds, but also the Smithsonian's efficiency in not only dealing with the matter, but disappearance of any further reporting, thus expiration. This also supporting the reason for lost pieces of the puzzle, which is inhibiting us from unlocking the secrets to the site's construction. Perhaps we may never know the true motivations for such a controversial exposure in China. But nonetheless, the resulting fallout of proof presented for our community is a step closer to the truth, the untangling of a tired and tangled web of lies in which many have weaved. For at the bottom of Pandora's box, there is always hope. Phoenix Hill, Xi'an China. In 1994, an extremely mysterious discovery would be made. Considered by the Chinese as the ninth ancient wonder of the world. A series of 24 ancient, artificial caves were discovered, specialists have been quietly astounded by them. And the more we learn, the more of a spectacular and mysterious achievement they are seen to be. The first thing that struck explorers were their size. Each cave has a minimum floor space of 1,000 square feet, an unimaginable undertaking at the time they were thought to have been constructed. Officially dated prior to the dynasties of China, which began 3,000 years ago, meaning they are very, very old. The walls of the caves are scarred with strange uniform tool marks. 
The weird thing about the markings, is that they are all set on a 60 degree angle, every single chisel mark within the cave system without exception, is on an exact 60 degree cutting angle. This has led many to suspect that the caves must have somehow been dug using advanced machinery. However, because this feature is unique within our current knowledge of ancient structures, the angle of cutting could indeed have been made by hand, with the purpose of decoration, but this would have made the job of cutting them out even more laborious. Additionally, once the caves had been assessed and explored, a remarkable thing was realized, although the caves were the result of excavating thousands and thousands of tons of rock, this rock seems to have vanished from existence. There is no trace of a spoil pile anywhere to be seen, it is as if the caves have always been there. No traces of their construction has ever been found anywhere, no cave writings, drawings, tools, or human remains, and nothing within historical records. The cave's construction simply doesn't make sense, and any evidence for their construction doesn't exist. Add to this the fact that the cave systems prelate Chinese civilization by some time, and show evidence of being cut out by machine. And the Long Yu Caves undoubtedly become a curiosity to scientific explanation, and historical understanding, to say the least. These remarkable caves, are a very strong and solid piece of evidence to suggest that advanced cultures have already been and gone on this planet, or that visitors of extraterrestrial origin, visited the planet, prior to human development. As far as I am aware, these are the only two possible scenarios for the builders of such a construction. The cave's systems are well over 3000 years old and still intact, whoever was capable of constructing them, was also capable of disposing of the huge mountains of rock that would have been excavated, without leaving any evidence of how they did this, or indeed built the caves anywhere. The caves are known as one of the largest underground complexes ever discovered. The fact that more is not heard about this wonderful place, is testament to their extraordinary existence, meaning no one within the scientific community, can, or want to try to explain them. Also, which I found highly interesting, when they were discovered they were completely filled with water, whether this was one sort of water, has not been disclosed, but I have personal suspicions as to how this water came to rest within these underground caverns. No fish were found within the caves, which many found odd. However, if you suspected that the waters be residual leftovers from a great flood, water from the great seas of earth, then over time, salt levels would plummet and fish accustomed to sea water would have died. Who do you think built the long new caves? The cave's existence hint towards a hidden history here on our planet, the history that we must unravel if we are ever to fully understand ourselves, and our home.